All right, here we go. Hollow Knight. Um, start game. New game. In the wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed. Based instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. Quote from somebody. close my blinds so I can get maximum maximum graphics all right we got eyes we got breaking we got an onk with some holes We got me. We got sweet street lamps. Alright, here we go. I don't know anything about the game. Like, anything. Other than it's a side-scroller. You probably hear my, uh, controller. Okay. A's jump. B is a... T oh, look at that. Looks like how much I jump is really how much I jump. Oh, I could go up and go down. Oh. Oh. Got money things. Okay. Really interesting that they have you right away not uh, one shot of enemies. Ah, sh okay, I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh my god, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. And I was playing Bloody Trap Land for a little bit. That was close. Up to interact. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect souls by striking enemies. Once soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. Okay. Probably just wasted some, but whatever. Oh! So those little skulls in the top must be my, uh, like, number of lives. That looks like death down there, so we're gonna not fall. Oh! That animation, though. Okay. Get me up here. So I gotta watch for uh, fallen dudes, fallen duders. Got my money. Don't know if I take fall damage, but looks like uh, those enemies are doing about one, one hit. Oh, again. Oh wow. Okay, I only heal one each time. Get some stuff. Heal again. Heal again. 
Yeah, I gotta watch for, uh, what's it, stalagmites or stalactites? Oh, I gained life. I wonder if it's temporary or, like, permanent. Looks temporary. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Didn't want to be up there anyways. I wonder if it's those really sharp looking ones up there. Okay, I got it. Oh! I thought I dodged it. Something down there? don't know if I can make that jump. I'm not going to try it yet. Let's see what's up here. Okay, that's where I was in initially going. Why did it pan up? Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization of the eternal kingdom. All the rest. Okay. That definitely looks like a different world. So we're going to try going down here. Nope. Instant death. All right. No deaths, boys. Stealing my memes. So, I can't go there yet. Interesting if it talks about a threshold, but... I have to break down the wall. Myself. Sounds like it's a, uh... What's it called? Ancient uh, civilization. I guess we're jumping. Yeah. Can I wall jump? No. The atmosphere. Here's that sweet street lamp. Dirt mouth. The fading town. Oh, there's people. Look, traveler, I'm afraid there's only one, there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks to its depths. With glory and enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your own dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Wow, I can hear out there, Stereo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I healed. For our mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. So I guess there's... There's some stuff that we can do. Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Like, can I not go back up? Okay, I can. I just wanted to check out the rest of the uh, above world stuff. Stone door with a simple lock, saying, go down that place, Sam. Okay, I will. I like how these signs point up. 
Uh, I like to go left first. Oh, friend. Oh, is he dead? Friend. Okay, I'll just kill this armored beetle. I'll kill this soft beetle. Sometimes the hits have really big, um, like, effects. And it makes me think that, uh, I can get a crit. Like that, right? Unless it's a kill hit. We'll see. I don't know what these things are. Maybe money. I mean, obviously, it's some kind of currency. Or level experience. Crying, friend. Can't interact with them. Maybe I have to bring him something so he'll notice me. All right. Enemies respawn when you leave the area and come back. Ah. Like you do take damage from being on top of somebody. I thought for a second that I could like jump on the Mario style. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hollow Nest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at the kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted and all truths revealed. I don't know the story, but it seems pretty cool. Oh! Don't know if I can kill this guy. Nope. Definitely outside of my my range for now. Okay. What are we gonna do? There doesn't seem to be a level up system unless it is this um, currency thing underneath my life. I don't have any menus, I don't have any any anything. I take that back, I have this. <laughs> Old nail. What does that say? Traditional weapon. Okay. Geocurrency. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna fossilize shells. Can be traded. I'm saying can be traded to for goods or uses a tool. Okay, so it is money, not a level. Makes it seem like the progression in this game is going to be uh, item based progression. Which means I probably do want a lot of uh, money. That money. This is one of those things where later on it trivializes it. Ah. So I need like a double jump to get that crying guy over to the right, I guess. It's almost kind of like I have a life leech with this uh, heal mechanic. So I don't think those are friends. I think those are uh, those are enemies that came out.
trying to get my bearings here. This reminds me a lot of uh, Metroid 1, the way they have a main chamber and uh, these rooms off to the sides. Yeah, I came from here. So that's where I started. I went immediately left, and what was this room again? The crying old man. Um, going down all of these levels. I went to the right there. I went to the left there. It was the boss dude that I couldn't kill. Um, let's see what this is. I can't read any of these signs, so I don't know anything really. Ah. I think it's worth it to stay healed all the time. That's a cool looking thing. What did that do? Absorbed some life essence, I guess. What is that money? I don't know what. Maybe it gave me a bunch of soul. Okay, do you think I can. <laughs> I can jump on top of those spikes? Uh, no, I can't. Lol. Okay. That's probably what it did. It probably just maxed out my uh, my soul. Oh, that's really cool. That shadow thing's in the foreground. Go down. Money. I like to look and see if there's any like secret anythings. I think some metro things would have a uh, hiding in the walls where you'd have to jump up like that and then uh, go check. Selling. I don't know, not a language. Hmm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Purchase a map. Yes. Acquired a map. Left bumper. Hold it down. Okay. That can be a useful thing, but don't. But it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not ahead for direction size point. Okay. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. Okay, nice. So we are. Um, oh, you can see on the map where he's marked himself as a little elephant thing. Oh, look! I'm I'm holding the map on the uh, the thing. It's really cute. But that's cool. I really like that the map doesn't actually update my current location. I also like that his map doesn't include the locations down there where he hasn't been. Let's start with uh, start with where he's gone. Oh, maybe he has gone over there. Because this is the long pillar. Okay. 
He has gone down here. I understand it now. So. You can hear his humming, right? And his humming is like, um... As though he doesn't perceive these other- these little animals as danger. Which means there must not be that much danger. Oh! Heal up. That's... Look at that, you can see all of them in the background too. Super cool style. That was pure luck. Alright, I freed a friend. There would be nothing. Ah! I suck. Oh my god. It's so... What I find weird is, um... You don't keep momentum. So if I go right and then I let go of right when I'm jumping, I just drop straight down. So it's just unnatural for me. It's actually better because it gives a lot more control, but I uh, didn't expect it. Oh shit. Also looks like you get three um, refills per maximum thing. Does this auto save? Yeah, it looks like it does. It's like a really efficient way of getting this one, but I'm uh, just gonna do it like that. That's why we slash walls. drop down over here see if I get something different than if I would go the uh, obvious way puts me right at the exit oh I can hold down it really does it ow oh it's a it's a mini boss fight I guess I could have skipped this Oh my god. That locking door is man, it's so uh it's so Metroid. Alright, cool. That's the entrance. That was telling me to go up to the right. Uh Oops, don't want to heal. Actually, I do want to heal. So... I don't know where this is.
I don't think I can get up there yet. If ever. Okay, it's good it's unlock that room every single time. I gotta go back up that other way. Okay. Worth. Oh, I wonder if that's a safe point. Restoration, uh, pond. Actually, if I'm smart, what I should really do is come in here, heal, save, um, and uh, end this episode here. Because it's about 30 minutes. Check that out. Check me 